If you don't respect Rolex, you have no brains, and if you don't love Seiko, you have no heart. Yeah, you heard me. I think for many collectors, including me, Seiko has been a constant in collections and minds. Is there any brand that offers so much variety at such prices? So many interesting and strange pieces with dependable quality. Not high quality necessarily, but dependable. The Seiko 5 collection is the brand's entry-level mechanical line, and it has been for 59 years. And the Seiko 5 watches are a goddamn joy. Useful designs, fun colors, low prices, I think everyone should own one at some point. Why not? Nearly 60 years of the Seiko 5, and yet only this year has Seiko released the first ever Seiko 5 GMT watches. And this is the one I bought, the SSK005. When Seiko announced these GMTs a couple months ago, I immediately shared images on my Instagram account because, for me, and obsessives like me, this was kind of a big deal. I love a GMT watch, I find it really useful to track multiple time zones, and more philosophically, I like being reminded of the size and the scope of our planet. And I've always been a fan of this Seiko design, what was formerly the SKX line. Put it together and you might have the most affordable mechanical GMT watch, and if not the most affordable, probably the best value. There are three watches in this new Seiko 5 GMT collection. The black SSK001, the blue 003, and the orange 005. They differ only in appearance, each lists for 475 US dollars. They are 42.5 millimeters across, 13.6 millimeters thick, and 46 millimeters long. They come on a Jubilee bracelet, weigh about 155 grams, and have a water resistance of 100 meters. They use Hardlex crystals on the front and back of the watch. The lug spacing is 22 millimeters, and the lugs have drilled holes, which makes strap changing so much easier than with the older SKX watches. Inside the watch is a new movement, the 4R34. Aside from the GMT function, what excites me most about the 4R34 is that it hand winds. I came up with the SKX watches, so seeing this case design triggers in me some upsetting flashbacks of violently shaking a watch to get it running. For the low price, don't expect accuracy or a long power reserve, about 40 hours. If you want to spend three times the money for more accuracy, those options exist, but for under $500, I think you're not going to find a better GMT. When images of these watches first appeared, I knew I wanted the orange. I've always wanted an orange dial Seiko. Orange Seikos are kind of a niche subcategory of collectible Seikos. Orange is certainly the strangest and least versatile of the three color options. I'd say that if this was your only watch, black might make the most sense. But for a pathological collector, go bold, go fun. And this orange happened to be the only color available when I walked into the Seiko boutique in Paris, France. I guess it was fate. At this pace, fate is going to make me broke. The dial is orange and the hours, minutes, and seconds hand are gold colored. Those match the gold bezel numerals, but the marker surrounds on the dial are a white metal. I just find this strange. It seems like they should all match in color. Am I wrong? I mean, I've never been wrong before. The bezel insert on this is very interesting, and for a couple reasons. It has a layer of hard lex glass over the numerals, which gives it a lot of depth. More expensive watches get the same effect with a layer of sapphire, and I really like the look. According to Seiko, this hard lex will be more scratch resistant than a standard aluminum bezel insert. The other thing I find interesting is that I thought this bezel was a single color, but after a few hours of wearing it, I noticed that it's actually bi-color, or maybe bi-finished? There aren't two colors exactly, but a flat black up top and a shiny black on the bottom half. It's difficult to describe, but pretty cool. The black dial watch, the 001, has a bezel with the same effect. The bracelet, I, I adore these jangly Seiko bracelets. They're light, comfortable, and this has a couple upgrades. Solid end lengths and an improved clasp. The main improvement of the clasp over the SKX watches is that it has a twin button release in addition to the ubiquitous flip lock. 
A surprising number of people have asked me if the bracelet feels cheap. Of course it f***ing does. You saw the price, right? It feels cheap, but good cheap, like your favorite fast food. You know it's bad, but that's part of the charm. But there's no hair pulling or sharp edges, it's just flexible and light. The SSK on my 7-inch wrist feels good. 42.5 millimeters in diameter, that might scare off a few people, but the 46 millimeter length has a big, or I guess small, effect on wearability. Most 40 millimeter diameter watches are longer than this 42.5 millimeter watch. The only negative I've noticed is that the weight of the watch feels a little unbalanced. The watch head is heavy and the bracelet is light, which gives it a slightly uneven feel. I think this is the kind of minor issue that separates affordable watches from luxury watches. My other issue with this watch is one that's eh, kinda silly. Everyone is gonna get one of these. Now, when I say everyone, I mean the very narrow band of people who are into watches and GMT watches and affordable watches and Seiko watches, which are the only kind of people I care to associate with. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't care to associate with any kind of people. But for us, I don't think I'm overstating what a big deal these new GMTs are. These feel like watches we've been wanting for years, and these seemed unlikely. For decades, Seiko 5 watches have only displayed time, day, and date. Not since the 70s has Seiko added any additional complications. It's exciting, and so is the potential of the new 4R34 movement. I'd wager money that this is only the beginning of affordable Seiko GMTs. Maybe a 37mm reference like the SKX013, maybe a GMT Diver with 300 meters of water resistance, maybe even a fully gold-colored reference like the SPRE74. I wouldn't kick that out of the watch box. So I hope, and I think, this is just the beginning. But for now, I'm very satisfied with this new, funky, orange travel companion.